From the time of his sister's marriage to Lord Krishna, Prince Rukmi could never forget his feelings of animosity towards the world. Prajuna, the eldest son of Lord Krishna and Queen Rukmini, was an incarnation of Kamadeva, the god of love. So beautiful and attractive was he that Rukmi Vati, the daughter of Prince Rukmi, could not select any other husband than Prajuna 
during her Swayambara ceremony. And so she gathered him in the presence of all the other princes. In the fight that followed with the other suitors, Prajuna came out victorious and therefore Rupi was obliged to offer his beautiful daughter to Prajuna. At the time that Lord Krishna's grandson Aniruddha was to be married, Rukmi offered his granddaughter Rochana. And when the negotiations of their marriage were complete, a great procession led by the grandfather Lord Krishna along with his brother Lord Balaram, Queen Rukmini, Prajuna, and all the other members of the Yaitu dynasty came to Rukmi's residence. There, the marriage ceremony was peacefully performed. My lord, my lord, the king of Kalinga is here. Oh, bring him in. Ah, oh, look me again. Well, what cheer it brings me to see you. What's the matter? You look like you... What's wrong? You know what I'm going through. Do you know what I'm going through? <laughs> Having to entertain a hundred yadus just to deal with one of them is enough to give me chronic indigestion. <laughs> I really don't understand this uh, wedding arrangement with me. Oh, my sister. I wanted to please Rupi. Ah, well, such is life. If I had a sister as dear to me as Rukmini as to you, I too would find it difficult. So uh, your feelings for your in-laws? Ah. Uh, which is a somewhat reserved. <laughs> uh, it will be quite a party for you, then. Oh, please. If only I could have killed Krishna. <laughs> then and there. <laughs> so Someone should bring him down. A notch or two, then I will be a happy man. No, no, Rukmi. There is no way to speak of your guest of honor and guardian of your granddaughter. <laughs> With such a vengeance in your heart, I'm really amazed how you managed to give away your daughter and your daughter to the Yadus. I told you! I know, I know, I know. The unbelief in my feelings, for the Yadus are the same as yours. If we could be rid of them, all of them, and particularly Krishna and Balaram, then the whole world would be a better place. We should put our heads together and decide upon a strategy by which we may placate our smitten hearts. It's not sweeter than revenge. <laughs> Tell me of a weapon that will work, and their bond of friendship will be tethered all the time. Amends must be made for the insults that have been heaped upon us. Yes! And I, I have an idea. <laughs> it may not be called a call for arms, but at least we'll be a reward. Yes! <laughs> we can make a visit to Lord Yakarta an unforgettable experience. How? 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 I speak of gambling. <laughs> gambling? Oh, you are a expert. And I know someone who is. Baharam! He be the hapless victim of our little boy. Yes! Uh, uh, oh! Oh! oh. In the spirits of the day, of course. <laughs> of course! Well, I must say, mm, that was a magnificent feast. If I'm not mistaken, I would say that old grievances have finally been laid to rest. Oh, I'm so happy! 
Rochelle and Abby Rochelle, you make such a beautiful couple. Don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Grandfather? Yes, Aniruda? We have been so warmly received here. Don't you think it would be nice in return to invite Rochelle's grandfather to Dwarka? I'm sure he would appreciate that. Hmm. <laughs> you should indeed be most grateful that he is entrusting his granddaughter to you, Aniruda. Rochelle's <laughs> grandfather is a sensitive man, Aniruda. He sometimes takes things so personally. But despite this, I think that his affections are in the right place now. We could invite him, of course, but whether he would accept it or not. You see, Aniruda, um, Roshna's grandfather, Rukmi, promised his sister to return to Shishupal, but then Lord Krishna abducted her and won her by dint of his courage, and that was a great blow to Rukmi's pride. No one but your grandfather could ever have been my husband, but all that took place so long ago. I'm sure that my brother has forgotten it about it now. How else has he given over his beautiful granddaughter to you, my child? Ooh. Wait! What if he declines to play? He won't. He's still attached to the game. And besides, a chapter could imply a chance. Brody. True, true. There's Rukmi. Rukmi, what a great day it has been for all of us. We have all dined most excellently. You have been a most gracious host. I'm so happy. These two are a match made in heaven, aren't they, Rukmi? My dear sister, whatever it is that satisfies you, that is my pleasure. <laughs> um, now, if we will all be seated, we can relax, um, and you can tell us more of the wonders of Dwarka. Krishna, uh, the finest citadel, uh, what is it? Uh, 16,108 palaces? More than that, it is the home of all the Yadus. My goodness! Oh, Rukmi, it's so wonderful, us all together like this. As I said, my dear sister, if you are happy, then I am happy. It is always reassuring to know that there are those upon whom one can always count as having one's interest in heart. The king of Kalinga, my dear sister, is exactly like that to me. Oh, no, 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 no. It's true, it's true. Anyway, I have been thinking huh? we should come together like this more often. We could refresh ourselves, huh? We could refresh ourselves maybe with some little recreation. Oh, yes, good idea. Anyone for a game of chess? I myself have a passion for the game. Well, I can say no to a game of chess. Good show, Baron. Your reputation runs before you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could we do something a little less energetic? <laughs> <laughs> energetic? <laughs> oh, my dear. I can't think of nothing more sedentary than a nice game of chess. <laughs> I mean, I mean, less exciting. Not, not so taxing. A uh, taxi? <laughs> well, you know, competition of any kind is always taxing. Even a game. One still gets caught up in it, isn't it? Uh, most ladies may prefer a quieter form of relaxation. Um, do not assume that the leisure of men should be restricted to talking pleasantries. <laughs> There are livelier pursuits of pleasure that can also give satisfaction and peace to the mind and the heart, especially when one plays to win. Isn't it, Bara? Oh, yes. Here is the board. Your choice of pieces. I'll choose white. 
White it is. Mm, what will the stake be? Mm, I'll wager 100 gold coins. Oh. A pretty sum. A pretty sum. Your move. Rook me. I will take a walk in the mountains. <coughs> it's such a nice day. I'll join you. Uh, well, um, don't be too long. The game may be over sooner than you think. <laughs> Rook me is a master of chess, and he knows it. Why is he so eager to defeat Balaram? If they want to have a game of chess, day, then let them. It's only a game. But play for gold. Checkmate! Oh, well played. Another game? Um, why not? <laughs> My move. And checkmate. <laughs> let's, let's, let's have another game. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> I'll put the wager up ten times. Ten thousand? Mm -hmm. That's a great deal of money, Balram. Mm -hmm. Can you afford it? <laughs> Can you afford it? <laughs> ten thousand in my wager. Will you match it? Of course. We will begin then. Your move. <clears throat> and check. <laughs> oh, something seems to amuse you most heartily. Perhaps you could tell us what is that you find so humorous. Oh, uh, uh, I was just thinking of something funny my servant told me today. Uh, oh, me. maybe you could share the joke with us. Um, oh, uh, that actually is not that funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, please, uh, do not mind my friend. Uh, I do not mind my friend Balarama. We can stop it now if you wish. No, no. I wish to continue. I must at least, ha at least has one more game. I don't feel that I've played to my best ability. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'll raise the bet to 100,000 gold coins. Do you agree? A <laughs> hundred thousand? Yes, indeed. Quite substantial. Very well. <laughs> now look here. I don't mind the fact that I've lost. You play a shrewd game, but I object to this inappropriate snorting. I find it quite distracting. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, Valra. Uh, maybe for the sake of the party, uh, we should withdraw. No, let us continue. Let us begin. Oh, very well, very well. Um, 100,000 gold coins it is. My move. Check. Checkmate. <laughs> but, but, but you can't do that. Can't do what? I mean, but you, well, you castled your king. Well, once you castled your king, you can't move. It's <laughs> not allowed. It's the rule of the game. But I didn't castle my king. Yes, you did. Didn't he? Huh? Uh, 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 yes, yes, he did, he did. <laughs> you see, you only castled your king. In that many moves, my king would be in a far more useful position had I ever castled my king. But, as you can see, my castle is still there. <laughs> I saw you. I saw you doing it. And the king of Kalinga saw it too. Indeed. This is a transgression of basic rules to obtain an unfair checkmate, mm -hmm. which is a criteria for disqualification. And I therefore say that it is I who am the winner of the game. It is not true. Good me is right. Give me the pieces. By the board, I just won. Nobody has won then. Let's begin again. I'm white, you're black. Make the wager. All right. 
That's playing for real estate. I'll wager you one hundred million gold coins. So be it. <laughs> Checkmate. Ha. Ha, ha. How did you do? How did you? This is not possible. You did it again. I win by the four. Is it not so, Maraj? Maraj? Yes, 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 definitely, definitely. But it's, it's, it's not true. You hear? I have won definitely by the four. Indeed. You saw what happened, didn't you? Well, uh, yes, yes. That's not allowed. It's, it slipped my pension when he did it. But it's quite clear that that's what he did. In all, all of my life, I have never seen such trickery in a serious game. Really? Uh, look how easily I defeated you in the first three games. How is it possible? that you can suddenly win like this. You have cheated again, and therefore I say that it is I who have won, not you. I have won! What can you know about playing chess? What could you know? <laughs> the winner is Balaram. Rukmi's words are false. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is nonsense! Tell him to give you the money, Rookie! He owes you! So, will you give me your wager? I will not! You won't? Where no. is your honor? Where were you brought up? Rook, please! <laughs> Quiet, Rookie! The truth may hurt, but the truth is the truth! Indeed! How can a simple coward boy play chess? Rook, please! <laughs> Perhaps he learned it in the forest while he watched the herd. No, 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 please. Is that where you learned it? Is that where you learned it? Is it? Is that where you learned? The better player wins the wager, and now you owe me the coin. The better player has won the game. You owe me. No! I won! I won! Yes, yes! He won! He won! Now listen, Rukmi! When you invited us here, I thought that you had changed. I've always given you the benefit of the doubt. I even pleaded on your behalf when you had your confrontation with Krishna. Ha! The trickster, Krishna! Ha! He steals! It is his nature in his very childhood. He steal butter from the neighbors. He's famous for it, isn't he? Mm. You know it. I would stop here if I were you. He stole my sister. He stole my sister. I won't tolerate any more. Now give me my gold. A true Shatri is honorable. A true Shatri will stick to his word and submit the money Rookie. he will wager to the winner. No. But I have won. I have won. No. I have won. <laughs> the one blow of Balaram's club, Rukmi was dead. With the next blow, Balaram broke the teeth of the king of Kalinda, who had so insolently stopped. Other princes supporting Rukmi thought it wise to run away from the scene. During the strife between Balaram and Rukmi, Lord Krishna could not utter a word, for he knew that if he supported Balaram, his dear Rukmini would be unhappy, and if he said that the killing of Rukmi was unjust, his brother Balaram would be unhappy. Therefore, Lord Krishna was silent at the death of his brother-in-law. My dear Rukmini, please do not lament. There is something you should know. The king of Kalinga has harbored enmity towards myself and Balaram for many, many lifetimes. 
He has only ever thought of trying to do me harm. Rukmi always considered him his best friend. To tell you frankly, I was therefore always worried about him. Whilst he was your brother in this life, in other lives, he may well have been at great odds with you and your pure, devoted feelings for me. <coughs> Dearest Rukmini, you are my eternal queen. Your brother lives on in the spirit of his granddaughter, Roti. Mm. And she will remain with us. It was an act of great charity on his part that he gave his granddaughter. <coughs> and although his bitterness to me was only due to envy, his attachment to you was his saving grace. The Lord is equally disposed to every living being as he is neither the friend nor the enemy of anyone. Uh,